Okay. My Deuterinos, the name is Kruggles, and welcome back to Destiny 2. Uh, I guess this time we have to do this adventure. Oh, Unstoppable and Barrier Champion, shit. Um... Okay, looks like I'm equipping... This and... No, this. There we go. Oh, shit, I equipped the... Damn it. Anti-barrier, but I don't have anything for unstoppables. Ooh! Wait, no, then I lose some odds. Uh, I'll infuse as soon as I get the opportunity. Oh, these guys are above my level, I guess. Recommended power 1000. Oh, yay. It's not like... Okay. A single grenade doesn't even kill... A failing. This is not worth doing. This is not worth doing, okay. Okay, acquire chipsets by purchasing Seraf Bunker upgrades, then spend those chipsets to increase your reach level one and um Hang on. Acquire chipsets by purchasing Seraf Bunker upgrades, then okay. Defeat powerful taken. Yeah. Or defeat guardians with fusion rifles in the crucible. Helpers free. Okay, completing public events on Mrs. on EDZ. I love how some of these. You know, fuck you. Fuck that bullshit. Alright, what do I wanna... Actually, first what I wanna do is this. Alright, I'm not gonna focus too much on perks right now, because I don't even think I'm gonna permanently use that, that, those boots there. I'm just curious where this takes me. Up here. Cool. Oh, I did not mean to fall back down here. Alright, I'm gonna... This time... What I'm gonna do is probably the bounties. So I'll do that and... Yeah. Okay, my Deuterinos, you know what, we're gonna start here. We're gonna see what happens this time, because I think we might actually get to 100%. Yep. There's just now. Yeah, see, we're at 57%. With three minutes left. So we could theoretically get it. 
Oh god, Marauder, get the Marauder out of here, guys. God, fucking... Enemy, they're over there killing enemies when they shouldn't be. Eyes up, Guardian. Support towers under attack. Oh, oh god. Okay, um, okay, I'm really hoping though that we actually get the win this time because I, I don't want to, I want to get to 100% and actually see what happens. Oh, game, let me sprint. Yes, successfully defended, good. And we have some left over, guys. Don't throw them. We need them for next time. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on! What the hell? We're freaking... Do we have one left? Okay. We have one left. We have to take this one. Okay, there's a the captain. Come on, guys. So close. We're so close. Did we get it? Yes, 100%. Defeat the enemy champions. What? There's champions? Oh, god damn it. A single champion is defeated, okay. Do we did it? Okay. Rasputin was never meant to be stuck on Mars. His reach is supposed to be system wide. It was once. We'll get him there. Good work on that satellite. Yay. I did it. Alright, so this can be dismantled. Oh yeah, 7th Seroth is the seasonal armor. So that's why I've just kind of been... ...keeping it. Yeah. Alright, my deuterinos. I, well, I gotta do one of those daily bunker clearouts. And then, yeah. Oh, w my aim right now, Jesus Christ. But yeah, no, my aim's going to shit right now. Because I'm just, like, feeling kind of bleh. Oh, there's a servitor in there. That's wonderful. Um. Oh, uh, okay, I felt like that should have been a hit, even if it wasn't a, um...
My mistake, my controller died. But yeah, no, it feels like the uh, game is just giving me some shit tonight. <laughs> Because I've been having a weird, stupid luck tonight. Where things just don't want to work right, I guess. Okay, there we go. And... There we go. Come on, game. Oh, that's a barrier server. Um, let me equip my specific champion mod stuff. No, that's unstoppable. Um, Okay, game. Can we just finish off the enemy here? There we go. But yeah, I find it funny though, they've got overload camp captains and barrier barrier servitors, okay? So I feel like, I don't know, part of me feels like it should be the other way around, but because it feels like Servidors should be the ones with the overload, technically. I don't know, that's just how I feel for some reason, but I don't know, I could, I could have some flawed reasoning on that one for whatever reason. Alright, I'm just gonna, real quick. Bill for Servitor is dead, good. Ah, uh, damn it. Damn it. And I see a champion coming my way. Okay, um, I'll be back up and go this way. Because I need to equip my overload rounds and my can cannon. I find it interesting, this season they've got the overload rounds in the hand cannon. Last season, or the first season we didn't have, we, last season we didn't have any hand cannon mods, but this season we got the unstoppable mod, yet, but we traded anti-barrier for... We traded, um... Overload for or anti barrier for overload. And I just don't quite know how to feel about it. Okay. Defeat that champion. And then I'm gonna finish him. Oh, with that kick, nice. And I just 
get a helmet. Nice. Oh, there was a thing that I said to do. Whatever. Is there actually a thing over here that I can inspect or whatever, just in case? Because I would expect there to be a lore tab or something. No? Okay. I feel like that vent's gonna matter someday. I feel like this is gonna one day gonna be updated to be destructible. I'm calling it now. I'm glad this is something you can do like once a day though, because I... I want to be able to do that thing, this kind of thing once a day, honestly. At least. Just like a little, it, it feels like there, there's a sense of importance to the, to it, basically. It's probably the best way for me to put it. Also, I found out the seven Seraph is the seasonal armor, so... Yeah. Alright, so I, I did some stuff off camera, so I'm gonna go ahead and go for the, uh... Go for some upgrades real quick. Okay. Heavy frame spawner. I wonder what that is. And I'm literally one token away. Are you kidding me? Anyways, I should literally be... Literally... Okay, next, next clip. I'll be getting this last upgrade. And then... And yeah. Alright, I, I literally just went over, did a quick little Swarov event thing, got a few tokens, and I'm gonna just gonna, because I was literally at 74 out of 75, or, so, yeah. Integration level 1. The Swarov Bunker has reached Integration level 1. You may now claim your first reputation award. The first six integrations will, levels will grant you a powerful reward. The seventh will grant a pinnacle reward. Beyond that, rewards will not be powerful. Okay, cool. EDZ Sector Looter. When the EDZ is the active Seraph Challenge destination, Seraph Chest and the EDZ's Legendary Lost Sectors award powerful gear. Limit one per weekly reset. Hang on, I saw something weird. It, like, wanted to tell me something. Okay. Cool, I got the seventh Sroth Fest, yay. Literally one higher than my current vest, but okay. Oh, nope, two higher, my bad. What I'm trying to do is I, I'm trying to get my average to 966, because once I get to 966, I can try out Tommy's matchbook because it'll be higher than my recluse. Also, there was something I had to do in my quests. Purchase and complete a Rasputin weapon bounty. Okay. Sure. What's, what are the Rasputin weapon bounties? Requires ED... Can't even do that. Because <laughs> I have to do a lot more fucking grinding. Of shit that I just cannot do right now. <sighs> Don't feel like spending 3,000 glimmer. Every, 
everything feels sad to me. Everything feels real sad to me right now. Okay, so... I should go and try to do at least one of the weekly bounties, maybe. Off camera, and if I happen to get Tommy's matchbook, I'll probably spend the episode trying that out. Oh, wait, what's this? Resource frame exhausted. That does... What? What did that even... What did that even get me? Nothing. Nothing useful. Okay. You're all disappointing me. Well, I'm just gonna keep doing shit to try to get powerful gear for now. Cause, cause that's honestly my main goal is to get powerful gear. Um, I know the legendary lost sector is supposed to be a thousand power. I'm only 969, so I'm not fucking touching that shit right now. But no, I, I freaking hate that one of them is, that the thing is saying to do a, uh, respite and weapon bounty, because it's like, really? That's way too far up my, too far from my pay grade right now. <clears throat> so, yeah. Anyways, I'll I'll see what's gonna happen before I actually before I decide if I'm gonna end the episode or what. <laughs> My deuterinos were I'm um, I'm just uh so I did a lot of grinding and I finally and you know what I I'm not gonna definitely not gonna reach the point where I'm gonna be able to use it um a whole lot before the episode ends. But, oh yeah, I should probably delete Risk Dismantle Risk Runner before I do this. Um, I'm 966, that's like a little high, one higher than my current energy weapon. So I was like, you know what, I I'm gonna, in the morning, I'm gonna wake up. And... I'm just gonna... Well, yeah, I had to take the Glimmer. I should probably take all that stuff. Okay, so ah oh shit, what 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 do I prefer between six, twelve, six, 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 and ten, or eleven, fourteen, total of fifty-five stat boost, total of forty-six. You know what? I'll take the total of four, fifty-five, whatever. Total of 48, total of 52. Only because the other one's higher. I hear that the versions of armor that you get, like... From the, uh... Alright, I have another one here. Oh wait, but that one's void though. And I think all the others are solar, so I'm going to actually purposely infuse into this. Okay, so I'm going to... And then I got to try out Tommy's matchbook, of course. Because I, I want to see its perks. Durable ranged barrel increases range. Okay. Overheat damage is reduced while not aiming 
down sights. Oh? Sane fire with this weapon overheats it, increasing damage but burning the user. I don't know how to feel about that. Alright, let me read the lore. It's warm in here. The entrance to the Hunter's Den on 7th Street immediately led to a flight of dark, dirty steps that went down two stories, multiple flights. A maglev train roared overhead as Honor reached the bottom. <clears throat> she had blinked through the void to skip as many steps as she could. It made her a little angry. The hunters who built this place must have thought the stairs were theatrical and in intimidating instead of a complete waste of time, like this trip was turning out to be. The place was deserted. No one had passed her on the way down. Multiple card tables sat under a single rusty overhead lamp. There were, there were a few possibly loaded sidearms left on the floor and rifles leaning against the walls. The occasional food wrapper from the deli upstairs accompanied the guns on the floor. There were more guns by far. Something moved in the corner. Honor's mini, mini, minuet 42 hand cannon came up in her, fr in her fist. Hey, whoa, no one draws in the den. Are you crazy? Hunter in full strike gear and his ghost walked out of the shadows, hands and shell pieces in the air. It was the ghost who had spoken. Oh, a warlock. That tracks. The hunter looked on in silence. Honor flashed her comorant seal. Honor, praxic order. What does internal affairs want with the hunter den? The question itself was a lie. Your names. I'm Tommy. I'm ghost, said the hunter. <laughs> I, I don't know something funny about that on or help holster the minuet made another visual sweep of the room where is everyone hunters have been hard to find in the tower bounties and strike assignments are piling up drifter must have the praxic praxics working overtime since Cade died ghost drew a long knife across the back of his armored fist Every single ho worth their heart salt is either out on a mission to save the world or spending their time away from the city to avoid the vanguard dare. Listen, Tommy whispered as Ghost sheathed his knife and stepped forward. He held out a long, white-bodied rifle with a flat, disc-shaped drum instead of a standard magazine. This is the most expensive thing we own. You can have it, just please don't tell anyone we were here. And get someone in that vanguard chair. The hunters are losing their minds out there. Okay, interesting. Uh, I'll have to try it out, see how well it works. But, um, first I want to go to the tower. <clears throat> but yeah, nine six I'm um, nine seventy total power. So I'm not I'm definitely not try I'm not trials ready at all. I I'm once I get to a thousand I will consider myself trials ready. A thousand not total power, a thousand like in general. Also, a little side news. I finally gra got my Graviton Lance to, uh, completed Masterwork. I also worked, completed Risk Runner, and I completed Sunshot. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to back out of that. And then my Cold Heart, I'm working on it. 85%. Okay, so, yeah. Hmm.
But yeah, I can't. I. I. I I, I feel like the weapon, even the weapon this season, is a little dis is a little like disappointing. I mean, symmetry was very powerful. It actually felt like an exotic. Um, but yeah, I need to deposit some shit into the vault. I need to deposit a whole armor set. Um. Or at least some... Oh wait, actually. I need to deposit those. That was it, actually. I just need to deposit that and I'm good. I'm a little scared though. We're approaching a point where we need more vault space, and trust me, I can tell because like armor sets, you can't really work, can, you can't really dismantle because you know you can't reclaim them out of the vault. Um, weapons you can dismantle if they're year one, and that's it. But no, I, I realized earlier today that I every last night. That I screwed up a little bit. Oh, hey Stella. Hi. I'm actually in the middle of recording when you joined. Oh. Yeah. No, you can stay in though, because I actually wanted to get your help with something. Oh. Okay. Uh, on what? Uh, just I was gonna get, uh, just on the moon with a wandering nightmare, but that's gonna come later after we do some power grinding. Oh, wandering nightmare. Okay. What? <clears throat> but yeah. Um. So, we gotta... Oh yeah, I have to go talk to Banshee, I think, potentially. I don't know. Possibly. Uh, though, I will be right back. I'm gonna see if I can get something to snack on. Banshee thinks he can help Mr. Whip, but he needs to do some work in the field. Okay. So, yeah. Uh... Hmm. Earn points by completing... Oh! <clears throat> so this is different. This is a different uh, thing than before. Crucible wins, Campa wins, and Legend or Master tier ordeal completions grant the most... Well, I guess I have to go for either Crucible or Gambit wins, because I'm definitely not completing a uh, Legend or Master tier ordeal completions f for a good while. Because they changed the difficulties. For good reason, though, because of the power boost, the extreme increase in power, n no less, to 1010, like with Pinnacle Gear. And then you also need auto rifle combatant multi kills and auto rifle guardian. Oh, you have to defeat guardians. So yeah, you you have to play gambit or crucible either way. And the game wants me to grab those gauntlets, but not yet. So yeah, I'm gonna go. I definitely can't do the quarry because uh, that's too fucking difficult for me right now. But yeah, just to show people like the extreme changes in the power difficulties, adepts remain the same. Hero went up by 20 light. Okay, that that's understandable. Legend went up by fucking 40 light. Or no, 30 light, sorry. Right? Was it 30 or... I can't remember. No! No, it went up by 50 light. Sorry. Everything went up by 50 light at least. 
No, actually, exactly 50 late, because Hero went up by, uh... Hero was originally 920. Legend was originally 950. Master was originally 980. Um, Grandmaster is, you know, the new one. But I, I'm not worried about that right now. I wonder what they mean by prime modifiers. Anyways. So, yeah, I, I, I'm just sad. I mean, I'll know, I know I'll get to Legend, get to that Legend difficulty power easily enough. Master, I know I'm going to have a hard time with. I've actually never completed a master nightfall now to make it, think about it. Hold up, holy shit. Also, I wonder if they, did they change? They did change them. Shit. Okay. You have to, to complete a night mirror hunt on master difficulty. Ha ha! Fuck. <laughs> so then I opened the crate. Needless to say, I get the whole system back eventually. Okay. Um I have a bounty I have to do for the moon. But it's for the moon, but it's on other planets, so I'm gonna go make some progress on that really quickly, use Tommy's matchbook while Use Tommy's matchbook to, you know, test during this to test it out. All right, okay. I'm on a. So yeah, the thing has fucking a hundred rounds. Holy shit. The matchbook. Yeah, I I'm trying it out yeah. now. It's um, it's got an overheat factor on it. Um. So continuous which... fire damages you. Yeah. Continuous but, fire damages you, but uh, if you don't aim down the sights, you take less damage. Okay. So. So it just this needs to be something that you just. Yeah, it's kind. Of, you just gotta look out for it. I mean, it only takes you down from your shield. So like, pretty much oh, just running so on your actual health. So you can't you can't pull on die from it, but you can No, but you can be killed from enemies shooting at you. Because, you know. That's good to know. Mm-hmm. It's alright, yeah. That's accurate enough. I wish the overheat would do like, I don't know, isn't it supposed to do increased damage or something? No. The overheat oh. just damages you. Oh. Well, I mean, I'll keep it equipped because it's my most powerful weapon right now, but... Yeah. Yeah, so, okay, just to review this weapon really quickly. It's definitely not as good as the previous two weapons. Ariana's vow was fucking fantastic, honestly. Symmetry yeah. was even better. It's a decent gun. But I, mean... I mean, it's decent. It doesn't feel super... It feels only... It barely feels like an exotic, let's put it that way. So, like... I guess good job, you made it exotic enough, but it doesn't... But it doesn't feel as good as the other two. I'm not gonna say that I was that I was um I'm not gonna say like oh I was cheaped out I I was ripped off or something because you know what it's a fucking paid for exotic if you if you have the season pass.
Yeah. So... Or not ripped off, it's like, I, I meant to say, like, I'm not gonna feel like I wasted my effort, is what I mean to say. But let me put it this way, I'm not infusing anything into Tommy's matchbook. <laughs> Alright, well, on to the next I don't know, I like- thing over here for me, I guess, apparently. That I have to grab, that I guess I never got before. Huh. For me. Pick up weapon part. Ethereal charms. Okay, oh, also Tanix is right there. Hi, Tanix. Oh, I got killed by a drag. That, that sounds like. Sounds like me. Uh, we're. Alright, Cell and I are at this place now. We're gonna try to see what happens here. I will say this, I myself am... Game! Oh my god, okay, that was a bit a little ridiculous, but whatever. So it's not, it looks like it's it's easier these this time than it was last time I tried to do it. Part of it, part of it is though that I was alone last time. Okay, I am about to die though. So I do gotta watch out for a minute. Took one. You took one? Okay. Powerful nightmare is fading, no. That's another. Oh god. We still have the Drake to kill. If we can kill him. Pull out if you pull out your heavy ammo. No, he disappeared. All right, we'll, we'll, all right, we should be able to get it this time. I I edited some things to be able to help more against uh, nightmare bosses. And that one was just shit. Okay, I need to start.
Oh, really? Game? Oh my god. How does that not... Focus on killing ads too. Oh, I'm about to, I'm about to take out one of them. Yep. Oh God. Okay. This is a powerful, ah. Uh. The drag's almost dead. Battle's almost dead as well. Battle's dead. Got him, yes! That took way too long, holy fucking shit. <sighs> that took too much effort. Bungie. You should not be doing no. this shit to us. <laughs> Don't all that for some phantasm. Wow, that's 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 great. And well, I should have gotten a triumph as well, because I know you were there for all the others, or pretty sure you were. I don't remember seeing a triumph come up. Well, I just literally just had one come up for me, and I got a shell for it. So. And. For you, personally, I'm going to look at the shell. Okay, the sh shell, you like differently shaped ghost shells. This shell doesn't really have a different shape, but it's got a weak color pattern that's not particularly attractive to me. But it's... But it's nice if you want to like go with this, with like kind of a theme, like specifically relating to the moon. All right, well, that's all I've been really wanting to do. The thing is, is that I don't know if I got that triumph. I know I know, I just got it, so. What was it called? I don't even know. It was for... I don't even know what it was called. I just know it was under destinations. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. I'm going to call that it for this episode, because you know what? I, I've been doing, I, I've been playing a lot of Destiny, and I'm, I'm tired. Oh, I, I've never killed the Nightmare of Jax, so. Okay, I'll, I'll pop with that one later, maybe. That one should be much easier. Because the thing about that one is that, that, that one I feel like is the hardest out of the four. That one was just stupid. Out of the four wandering nightmares, that one is the hardest. But yeah, I'll Fuck. see you guys in the next episode. Uh, make sure to check out Stella's channel. And laters, guys.